Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I have here is uh, to determine the magnitude of a vector. And what we have is, um, in this case, we have a directed line segment. So um, we have it as negative 4, negative 4 as my initial point, and 6, 2 as my terminal point. So more is common. You can actually label them and plug them in to determine the magnitude. But a lot of times, what we like to do is write them in component form. And remember, component form is v1, comma v2. So to determine component form, all we need to simply do is really determine p1 minus p2 and q2 minus q1. p2 minus p1, I'm sorry. So therefore, I need to label these. And I'll just label this as p1, q1, p2, and q2, initial to terminal. So now, to determine my component form, all I simply am doing is just going to do 6 minus a negative 4, comma, 2 minus a negative 4. Well, 6 minus negative 4 is going to be 10, comma, 2 minus negative 4 is going to be 8. Okay? And when we write it in component form, you can see by subtracting those two, it's the same thing, really. But now I write this as v1 and v2. And we like a problem when it's in component form because it's really, oops, I'm sorry. It's the exact same um, formula. just depends on if one's is direct line summit or one's in component form. So now all we basically need to do to determine the magnitude of this vector is just, just take the square root of 100 squared plus 8 squared. So 100, I'm sorry, <laughs> of 10 squared and, 100, so, and 8 squared. So 10 squared is 100 plus 8 squared is going to be 64. So therefore, I have 164. Uh, now the next thing I want to do is determine you know, if I can simplify that um, at all. And shit, 